Now, when it comes to schizophrenia and the symptoms, uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. So I want to first talk about some causes of schizophrenia. So it affects about 1% of the population, um, and an individual is six times greater risk if one parent has schizophrenia. There's a big genetic component when it comes to schizophrenia. Uh, as well, what is potentially some of the reasons why we develop it? Like what's the... What, what's the biopsych perspective? What's going on neuro with neurotransmitter activity? Well, there is a dopamine hypothesis. And whenever individuals experience the positive symptoms of schizophrenia, when I say positive, I don't inherently mean good. I just mean that something's being added to the situation. Uh, individuals will experience the symptoms of psychosis, like hallucinations and delusions. These are things that are added to the person's life. Whereas low levels of dopamine are associated with negative symptoms, which we'll talk about in the next slide. Now, drugs that increase dopamine levels can produce schizophrenia-like symptoms, uh, so that's something to be mindful of, and medications that block dopamine activity can reduce the symptoms. Okay, So moving forward, let's look at, at some of these symptoms of schizophrenia. Hallucinations are visual as well as auditory experiences that are not congruent with reality, but people truly believe that what they see is actually there. So this can be, again, seeing things that are not congruent with reality as well as hearing voices uh, that are not congruent or noises that are not being experienced in by the rest of the world. It is strictly by the individual, as well as uh, delusions. These are beliefs about the world that are not congruent with reality, and these can include a number of different categories of delusions. So the individuals may experience paranoid delusions where they think that the FBI may be after them uh, or that they've got um, grandiose delusions, which is when somebody may believe that they have special access to a higher power and they may proclaim that they have the vision of the future or what this higher power has uh, stated is going to happen to the world so it's their job to share that message and that they are the chosen one to be able to to send this information out next is somatic delusions where one may think that they have like a disease that nobody has experienced before uh, or that they have you know, bugs in their skin, something that's highly abnormal, abnormal that's happening to their body, as well as one individual may have thought withdrawal and insertion. Now, uh, an individual will commonly experience within schizophrenia disorganized thinking, so disjointed and incoherent thought processing, uh, disorganized or abnormal motor behavior, as well as catatonic behaviors, which is decreased reactivity to one's environment. Now, these negative symptoms include things that are taken away from a person's uh, uh, behavior or abilities, uh, includes abolition, the lack of motivation to engage in self-initiating and meaningful activity, alosia, reduced speech output, asociality, aka social withdrawal, and anhedonia, the inability to experience pleasure. And what you'll see, too, with schizophrenia is um, with the disorganized thinking may come word salad, where an individual will say a lot of words, but they don't add up to coherent sentences. 